G'day, it's Pete here. I'm back for another weekly instant tournament. Uh, so on BBO there is a free tournament that anyone can go play in, and each week they change the boards. So uh, if you haven't gone to play it, maybe you could go dash it ahead and give that a go. Uh, well worth a shot, and it's an interesting thing. Uh, I'm not the only one that uh, plays it and puts up analysis. There's also a few other people, uh, namely uh, T. Gwyn is one of them, and I'll put a link to his... Uh, analysis as well because it'll be a good comparison at the end. Uh, we've sort of alternated who's beaten who in the last couple of weeks and it's now his turn to beat me but uh, hopefully I can do all right and we'll see how we do. Okay um, so again this is match point scoring so the thought process is a little different compared to imp scoring. Uh, at any rate it's gone past a club and I've got uh, 19 points. Um, so I'm too strong for a one no trump over call. Now to show my hand I could double and bid no trumps. Um, which is how I can show my hand. Vaguely considering downgrading this into a one no trump over call just for simplicity because of queen jack dodge or something. I really dislike sort of doing that sort of thing. Uh, I am off sort of past partner but if they've got sort of seven or eight points that I really want to be in game. So I'll double and uh, plan to bid no trumps. Um, the two spades bid sort of put stuff up me. Um, can't really show that anymore. The two no trump bids now a bit better. Uh, so I could double again for a takeout, showing diamonds and hearts. I don't really have that. Could get me into a bit of hot water if I do that. Alternatively, I could just pass and sell out. Now, right, firstly, I don't think bidding two no trumps is right. I don't actually have a spade stopper. So this is one of my minor concerns earlier. I'm sure there'll be people that just overcall no trump, but I still don't like it, even though I've given myself a new bidding problem. I think passing is probably the way to go. Uh, I am also kind of open to double. I might double and see what happens. Okay, I went three hearts and they went to three spades. That's good. Um, I've already set my bit so I can pass here. Oh wow, they got to four spades now. Uh, they, they were selling out to two spades. I'm doubling this at any rate. Um, if they make four spades this will be like a terrible score for me anyway because I could have sold out for two spades so East doesn't really well what's West doing less than seven high card points twice rebidable spades no ace of clubs ace of, but does have the ace of diamonds what they don't have the ace of diamonds do they have a void diamond Nine plus total points. I can't have a void diamond because, well, they just showed there, but my partner clearly would have bid diamonds if they had that. At any rate, uh, let's see. I want to cash uh, my tricks in the right order. For them to queue diamonds, I think that clubs, second club might be standing up. And my partner's played high low in clubs. So I trust that West has a singleton diamond. Nah, no. So this hand would be really useful for signals. Um, they might be making this now. Six spades, three hearts. Yeah, my partner pitched too many hearts. No, nope. we beat it one trick. We got a hundred percent. Oh my god, that was painful. All right, so let's see what happened. My partner led the four of diamonds. And I cashed the ace of clubs. Ah, uh, they didn't play high-low in clubs. I... 
missed what club they had, so I could have gone Diamond, Diamond, Rough. We could have uh, beaten it three tricks uh, if I continued with Diamonds there. I'm not sure what West 4 Diamond bid was. Um, but anyway, I could have cashed the Ace King of Diamonds and given my partner a Diamond Rough. And. Yeah. Uh, so this hand. For cashing out, it's really useful to know what your signals are. I probably could have worked it out a bit better, but I got 100% anyway. Um, let's see, some people doubled and then passed, which I think is fair. Someone came, someone overcalled a no trump. Lots of one no trump bidders. Someone bid a diamond. Someone even passed. So it's a mixture between double and a no trump. Most people sold out to one, two spades. If you've overcalled a no trump, I guess you probably should maybe. Like, but again, I don't like the one no trump overcall. And I just felt like competing again was another was worthwhile. And then when they got to four spades, I thought I should double it. Um, but here we had a cash out situation, and these ones are nightmares playing with the robots. But Knowing what your signals and leads are is critical for getting that right. We could have beaten that. Uh, three tricks, maybe. Yeah, just three tricks. So only one person managed to beat two spades a trick. They got 92% for that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that was uh, the first hand. Well, oh, I think I lost a couple of years. That was painful. I could have really used a couple of signals from my partner and it would have helped if I actually looked at what cards they played, let alone. Uh, 19, no, 17 points in a 5 card diamond suit. Alright, I reckon this is too good for a 1 no trump opening, so I'll trade it as 18, 19 and jump to 2 no trumps. And my partner raised to 3. So I got a nice five card suit and everything. Okay. So I am in three no trumps. And the main thing is I whenever you're playing match points, you want to compare well think are you in the normal contract? And I reckon the majority of people would open a no trump and it would go one no trump all pass. So I think I am in Three no trumps won't be the normal contract, so playing for over tricks is not something to consider here. The main thing I want to work out is my best chances for making my contract. And this is a pretty fair contract. I have two clubs, a spade and a diamond off the top. If the diamond finesse works, I can get up to uh, five diamond tricks, two clubs, and a spade is eight. So therefore I'd either need the spade king on side or the ace of hearts on side and that would be nine tricks. Um, I'm going to just start with the uh, Queen of Spades here, see how, if that works. I don't have high hopes because the robots often lead away from nothing. Okay. Now switch to a club. So I have to think of my, my best chances of making nine tricks. So my if the, I was really hoping that the Queen of Spades would win the first trick because that would solve lots of my issues because not only am I touch and go for nine tricks, I also really need some entries to the north hand. Um, so I have a couple of options. If I give up a diamond trick, that's not so crash hot. Um, I could play a spade to the 10, hoping that one of the king or jack were on side. If they're both offside, I am uh, really stuck. So I think a spade to the 10 is a good start. And then I'm in with a shot. My other choices... Um, I don't really have that many other choices. 
I can't afford to... I'm just thinking, what do I know about the East Hand here? I won the King of Spades. West chose to lead a... <sighs> spade. Now, would they really do that away from Jack to whatever? They really, the robots really like leading away from little cards. So if I just predicted that East had the king, the Jack of Spades, then I'd only be able to get one spade, even if I can get five diamond tricks and two clubs. I don't have the entries there. I sort of need the Jack of Spades on tight up. No, it's not working. Um, and another club. So, what are my choices here? I'm now in damage control. I might just duck a club. I'm giving up any real chances of making this contract at that stage. Alright. I really shouldn't give up my give up hope here. Um, if there's a singleton king of diamonds, I'm still making my contract. So let's hope for that. Oh wow, they're five nil offside. Well, this isn't going to score well. So this layout was about as bad as you could have hoped for. And I got uh, nearly 18% for that. King Jack of Spades offside, Ace Queen of Hearts offside, Diamonds 5-0 with the King offside. Uh, so that was pretty terrible. Uh, some people are in 3 no down 6, some down 4. 3 no down 3 was the best they did. Um, and they can hold me to down 3. That was a bit nasty. I, I still think 3 no is a really good spot. <laughs> if West just uh, didn't start with a spade lead, or if one of the spades were on side, we were in a lot better uh, shape than what we were. Which, unfortunately, was not good shape. But... I'm willing to take my 17.9% uh, there. Uh, I think that was fine. 10, 11 points, and a 5-4. Nice easy. I've got 11 points with a 5-card suit. I love opening this. Also, I'm not full, so I think it's clear. So, I just rebid two clubs. Uh, my partner was playing a 4 second no trump. Um, so, I meant to bid anyway. And I've got an unbalanced hand, so bidding two clubs is pretty normal. And my partner jumped to three spades. Limit raise. Here's a three card 10 to 12 raise. I'm minimum, so I'm just going to let this slide. Uh, if it was a four card limit raise, you know, hey, I might accept it because I got a little bit of shape, but uh, not accepting this, so I'll just pass. Okay, so I want to count my losers, and it looks like I have a club two diamonds, no hearts, and a couple of spades. So I have to pick how to play the spade suit. Um, I can finesse either player for the jack of spades. I don't have much to go on. Um, I also, to minimize my diamonds, I can try and lead a diamond towards the king, hoping that west has the ace. At any rate, I'll just win and start drawing trumps. I don't think I've got... Well, West led the Queen of Hearts. They didn't want to overcall. Don't really have much. Ah, oh, that's good. Possibly good to see. I think that's good to see. Glad to see the Jack, at least. Uh, looks like spades are 4-1, which causes me a few more issues.
Um, so I'll just draw a trump and try and get to my hand with a club. This is getting roughed. Didn't get roughed. Okay, so that's promising. Uh, so I'm now home. I like could have tried to safely get to my hand by trumping a heart, but then I can't knock out the ace of clubs. So knocking out the ace of clubs is sort of a important thing and worth doing. Uh, so I've got my clubs. It's now up to my diamonds. If the ace is on side, I make ten tricks, uh, but it's not. And we got 75% for that. I thought that was a pretty normal hand. Some people might pass a no trump. No, no one's passing a no trump, it's good to see. Uh, some people were just passing the board in. Now, as I said, uh, five, 11 counts with five card suits, I think, are well worth opening. And got to play in three spades. A couple of people went down. Let's see how uh, someone chose to play it and go down. So they got spades, right? Heart. And they roughed a heart. And now at this stage, they made themselves have equal trumps with the other person and go cause trump control. So even though they might have been able to get a club rough, I really had to just draw trumps and knock out that ace of clubs and try and get to my hand. <coughs> 15 count. Three, two, three, five. Even though I don't have four spades, I'm still happy to double at this spot. And I've said my bit. And partners bid two spades and then three spades. Uh, so I don't have a fourth spade for them, but they probably have five spades by this stage. I got a few extra points, but my hand's not worth pushing on to four spades. Okay, now I get the luxury of playing this. Shifted me up to the uh, north hand here. He slung the ace of clubs. All right. So first thing to note is the east hand only made a simple raise to two hearts. So they're in the uh, six to nine sort of category, but they've got four hearts as well. Uh, so west is going to have the majority of the points at this stage. Anyway. Uh, Let's see what happens. Ace of clubs, jack of hearts. So West I know has the um, ace of spades pretty much. East won't have four hearts, the ace of spades and the ace of clubs. It also sort of looks like the East hand probably has a short club. So if someone's going to have length in spades, I think it'll be the East hand. So anyway, I'll hop up with the... Uh, Ace of Hearts, no benefit in ducking. Now, if you've got no information to go on, a low spade to the Queen and a low spade to the Ten is the best way to play the suit. But it looks like West has five hearts, four clubs, and probably a shortened spade, so I might just start with a low spade here. Okay, and we saw the nine. Continue another spade. And I know West still has the Ace, so I'll duck that. Okay, so I got the spades wrong. This isn't going to score me particularly well. I think I'm going to go down at this stage. Okay, and I'll just cash some diamonds. I basically want to take a club finesse. Um, but I was just getting some count there. So West has. Two diamonds, uh, five hearts, three spades. I've got three clubs. So the queen's offside and I'm down one. What? I got 78% for going down in a cold contract. Oh. So it's untouchable. Most people are letting them play three hearts. Well, there you go, let's see. They're just passing, or even, I don't like a three club bid, I don't think that's particularly good. So here, by bringing doubling and bringing all the suits into play allowed us to actually compete in spades. So that worked a treat.
Only one person managed to uh, play the spades correctly. Ace of clubs, jack of hearts. Spade to 10. Okay, they didn't necessarily play it correctly, but sure. Anyway, um, I thought ace, ace did have short clubs and four hearts, so playing them for length in spades I think seemed fair. So I was, you know, I stand by my decision. Um, still can't believe I got 78% for <laughs> just bidding. Well, I guess it wasn't normal, but like I think a double here is a really good bid. People often worry too much about having the fourth spade, but I think that's unnecessary, as shown by this sort of hand. And yeah, okay, uh, seventy-eight point six, and I'm currently rank one. That's so it's taken me half the thing to get there. Four boards, and let's see how we do. Pass a heart. Ah, this is a nice hand. Nice five-five. Vulnerable against not. But definitely good enough to do a Michael's Cubit here, showing uh, five spades and five of a minor. Now, my partner bid two no trumps. Show me your second suit. I don't know if it. I usually play this as invitational or something. I'm just seeing what my options are. <laughs> if I bid three no trumps, it's. Uh, I've got a stop in, oh, I can't bid three and a couple, I don't have a stop in hearts, but it's 25 to 32 high card points with a 5-5 five five shape. That's not particularly good. I might just bid uh, four diamonds to show a strong hand here. Okay, my partner passed. Their hand is garbage. Uh, so, I usually play like three clubs, pass or correct, and two no sort of like invitational. So with this sort of hand, I would bid uh, three clubs with their hand and go from there. But that's really a partnership style. Anyway, uh, I'm in four diamonds and I have to make a plan. <sighs> so I have a club loser, I have a couple of spade losers, I have a couple of diamond losers. Is spade is the finesse against the spade jack first time reasonable? So you're asking about uh, the hand before, so I'll just bring it up. Uh, this one, uh, where it went ace of clubs, heart switch, and you win the ace. So, yeah, so spade to the ten, I guess, is reasonable. Um, like, you, you ideally want to play a low spade to the queen and then spade to the ten, but your entries are... Uh, bit poor to actually try that. So if you did want to finesse spade, spade to the 10, it's not unreasonable. Probably not what I would have actually tried. Um, but here you know West has the ace of spades, so leading a spade towards the queen is uh, l l not as valuable. Um, but spade to the 10 is definitely an option. Yeah. Works for the guy who scored 100%. It's, but because I thought the East had uh, longer spades, that's why I chose not to uh, actually finesse the spades straight up. Not that East had longer spades, just what I thought. His hand's going to be a nightmare to play. Um, so if I rough and play Ace of Spades, King of Spades, rough a spade, I A might get over roughed. Uh, which, if they get over roughed, isn't that bad. So yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. If the king of spades gets knocked off, I'm in big trouble. But I really have to start working on my suit. I'm getting, um, uh, all right, spades of five one. <laughs> okay. Uh, Well, I still need to rough my spades. Hopefully West has the Queen of Diamonds and Ace the Ace or something. Then it's tough for them to over rough it, dummy.
Okay, so it does look like uh, West has the Queen of Diamonds and East the Ace. So I might be able to rough my two... Uh, if I can rough both my spades and then... Still got a club and a diamond to lose. Rough a spade, rough a heart, rough a spade, rough a heart. Where am I at? Besides possibly getting over off, that's not great. Anyway, we'll start with this. I have to get rid of my these losers. Okay. Now Do I want to play a club and exit there? I'm definitely going down in this contract. Uh, East didn't rough the first time with the eight of diamonds, did they? If they did, I've got like some really small percentage chance of making. I don't believe it was the eight of diamonds. Now if I exit with a club, and West has to win that, well West probably doesn't have to win. I could lead a heart, I don't know if West has any more hearts, but they didn't double two hearts, so I think they probably have a double to So, uh, let's just exit with a club. West has queen eight two of diamonds, <laughs> so they chose to under rough rather than being end played. No, there we go, queen three two. So it was the eight I saw it. I still didn't have my uh, still didn't have my play for uh, it because East had eight hearts. I was thinking so. I'm always down, that can actually beat me down two on a diamond lead. A um, couple of people got to three diamonds making. Some people got two spades and got doubled there, went down. A couple of people made. Two spades is cold. Anyway, in four diamonds, I think this bidding's fine. It really depends on partnership agreement of the difference between two no, what's your second suit, and three clubs pass or correct. Anyway, uh, Queen of Hearts and I roughed, Ace of Spades, King of Spades. I roughed with the 8, I wasn't sure about that. And I cross rough for a while. Okay, now at this stage, if I knew the 8 was gone, if we say West had one less diamond and gave them the Jack of Hearts and Ace the 2, of diamonds, and in fact swapped the club 10 and 9 over. I could have trumped a heart low, which would have won, and then exited with my club, which West wins, and then has to uh, lead into my King 7. Or alternatively, if they had one less club and one more heart than this holding, I could lead a heart and trump it, and they have to follow, and then I exit a club and they rough and they end played. So they had a couple of small options, uh, possibilities of me making if I roughed a heart in that end position, but I missed whether the eight of diamonds are gone. I've been a bit sloppy today, I've missed a couple of uh, pips, but going okay, got 57% for that, don't know how. Anyway, uh, three boards to go. 10, 19 points, and a 5 card suit, so I think that's good enough for a 2 no trump opening. 3 clubs, double stamen. What's pass? 3 double. So re doubles, I've got some clubs. Passes, I've got no major suit. And what's a 3 diamond bid? No major suit. Okay, so I can show no major suit two ways, but I might do it by bidding 3 diamonds. And my partner bid small one. I have a spade fit. 
qubit. Okay, so I've only got 19 points, but my partner's qubit hearts, they don't have... I've got the club stop, I've got running diamonds. If my partner's got ace of hearts, ace of spades... Sorry, ace of hearts, ace of queen of spades. I've got five spades, two hearts, a club, three diamonds. Looks like slam might be alright. So even though I'm sort of sub-minimum, I like my hand. Um, yeah, let's just kick it. I don't like the way the uh, robot's um, cubid. Anyway, unfortunately my partner's only got one or four key cards, so... Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh... It's a pretty optimistic uh, cue there. Club. Let's just not see a diamond return. Okay. Um. Let's uh, win the ace of hearts and play a spade towards the king. West probably has the ace. Good. Past the second test, they didn't get a rough. Jack of spades. Spade to the queen. Now I've got the rest of the tricks. Can I organize the beer card? I believe so. So let's uh, first check that my diamonds are all good and that diamonds weren't five nil before I organize this. So let's draw trumps, throw away my winning club, and make the beer. So I got a little bit optimistic there. Um, again, wasn't on the same wavelength as the uh, robots. I only got 42% for that. Two people played in three no trumps. Someone play, made 12 tricks. Anyway, the vast majority of people are in four spades making 11. But, you know, my partner might have had sort of two aces or something like that. Might have just been worried about uh, heart control, uh, club control, sorry. I dislike having uh, just first round controls. If my partner cubed four clubs over this, my hand's not nearly as good because I know that they've got a singleton club basically and if that's the case we're sort of double counting points and I can stop low but when they cubid hearts I know that they're looking for some useful stuff here and if they had 5-4-2-2 two, two with ace, ace queen of spades and the ace of hearts I think that would be a completely reasonable hand to cubid on and then we've just got uh, 12 pretty easy tricks Instead, they had a uh, seven count with a singleton club and wanted me to have no club guard whatsoever. Okay. Uh, balance 16. Transfer to clubs. Wow. I accept. It's a shame I couldn't super accept or anything. Or could I? Turns out I could have bid three no trumps. That would have made. I didn't even look what three no trumps is. I don't think I can actually bid it. Uh, but we've got six clubs, two aces. Maybe I could bid it. Um, if my partner turns up with a king in it, either hearts or spades, or the ace of diamonds, we've got uh, extra tricks. At any rate, uh, Three clubs is going to make nine tricks pretty comfortably. I've got no prospect of an over trick. But I can see if the uh, robots miss defend and throw the wrong thing away. Uh, let's just duck a heart and see what happens. They take a couple of spades. Ace of hearts. My heart good? No. Um, so I just get a diamond. So that was a pretty routine hand. 
to play. Um, so I only got 35% for that. That's annoying. Some people just bid 3 no over that. So, shows 17 points. So, on the pass 2 no. Match points, maybe passing two no trumps is right. Bidding three no trumps obviously works on the hand. Um, you've just got like nine top tricks. Looking at your hand, if you know your partner's got six clubs, you got six clubs and two aces. So to make three no trumps. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder how many people would bid three no trumps over that. I did know my hand was quite useful for my partner. Anyway. Let's move on. Uh, 14 points and 6 hearts. I got a spade fit, but I want to just 2 over 1 and then uh, show that I've got a fit. And my partner is not interested, so I don't have anything extra, so we stop there. And I let a diamond. Uh, so I've got a spade loser. But, so I'm counting losers from my part, the north hand. I've got a diamond, a club, a spade. Diamond leads kind of a nuisance, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Suppose I can duck and hope that uh, they've led away from the king. And I'd do that every day against people. It's just the robots dislike leading away from this stuff. Doesn't mean they don't do it, but yeah. Anyway, I'll just duck it. There's the king. They might be able to organize a uh, diamond rough, but they continued on with that. If spades are 4 1, I've got some issues. And they're not. So, another 10 tricks, and I don't think this one will score too well. Um. Forty six per cent finished in rank three. Um, so let's see what some other people did. A couple of people made over tricks. Some people went down in five spades. Uh, but other than that, it was all pretty normal. Uh, tough day today. Um, felt like played reasonably well. Got some good scores. Uh, but Board 7 was where you had the uh, 9 tricks in no trumps and clubs. And board 2 got, well I played 3 no trumps which on the hand is a bit overboard. Um, but like looking at the cards you've got reasonable play and I was happy getting there but absolutely everything was offside. Um, board 4 I misguessed the spades and went 1 down in 3 spades. Board 5 wasn't sure about their pass or correct bids and whether three clubs by them would be weak and two no trumps is invitational. But anyway, got a level two high and played four diamonds down one. Well, at six, I got a little bit enthused and played five spades rather than four spades. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, tricky day. Um, not fussed with how I did, scored 56.7% uh, in the end, which was fair, finished in rank 3, but yeah, anyway, that was my uh, weekly instant tournament, hope you enjoyed it, I will be right back for a regular commentated play session shortly.